Oh yeah, taking a break here. Let's do everybody's um. I can't forgive the people on the moon for what they did, but if people are suffering from metamorphosis on the moon too. Kasane, are you starting to remember the time when you lived with Wakana? Unfortunately, no. I do remember the kind, warm feeling I had in the days I spent with Mother. It's all because I met her. He and I share the same mother. I wonder how he feels about that. Oh, God. Yuito, are you free right now? Yeah, what's up? It's just... Well, I thought we could talk about our mother. I'm sure we both have some things we want to say. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that too, actually. Oh, why don't we head down to Mizuhagawa? Why there? I just thought a little picnic might help change the mood. I can make some food for us. What do you think? A picnic in the middle of others? Well, I guess it'll warm us up for battle. Yeah, it'll be field training. Let's head out in about an hour. All right. Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Here's your lunch. Oh. This is pretty elaborate. <coughs> you might even be better at this than Naomi. No, that's too much of a compliment. I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought about it that much. Well, <laughs> we really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when Mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about ten years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. All I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu, so that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No, it's true that if mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you big sister now? Stop it. The only big sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay, I won't say it anymore. That laugh. Is he trying to make me feel better? If he is, then maybe I was too hard on him. Whew, that was quite the feast. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to, I know in my heart that she won't be with us that long. You're right. But we can't just spend all of our time being sad about it. Yeah. Sorry for being a downer. I wasn't accusing you of anything. 
I just don't want to think that not seeing her is the end of the relationship. Even if we can't be together, it doesn't mean we'll forget the people who loved us. I was just a kid, but I remember being so happy when I was with my mom. As long as we have those memories, no matter how much time passes, we're all still connected. Isn't that right, Naomi? I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over time. Yes. Though it sounds rather trite when you put it into words. <laughs> really? I don't think it does. I will say the ability to time travel has really messed with us. But I am very thankful that it allowed me to see my mom again. Yes. I have more good memories now. I promise not to laugh, but when I actually saw her again and heard her voice, I felt a lump in my throat and almost started to cry. Why would I laugh at you for that? I felt the same way. I guess we've gotten a little too comfortable here. This is perfect. Let's get a workout in before we head back. Okay. Let's take care of this together. Stay on guard. It might not be just them. Connect with SAS and don't forget your surroundings. This is starting to get a little awkward. Is it because he called me his big sister? Oh, um, thanks. Yeah, I'll be careful. Okay, let's go then. I have a long way to go. It's painfully obvious when I fight alongside you. I don't think we're that different. That actually might be true, but there's a whole lot I need to learn. You helped me see some parts of myself I couldn't see on my own. In any case, you really motivate me to get better. My impression of you changed a bit. Maybe I understand you better. I don't know what your idea of me was, but yes, I suppose we understand each other a little better than before. Arshi, do you have a second? It's about this program. After the update, she seems unusually focused. Is she making a new program? Whoa, Kasane! This is a video game. You're playing instead of doing work? I could say you caught me, but this is what I always do. It's kind of pointless yelling at me over things like this anymore. Why do you want to skip out on work so much? It's not that simple. This is a defensive measure to ensure I don't waste my precious stamina and mental energy on pointless work. Defensive measure? That's basically... Arashi, got a minute? Did you come to scold me about my work ethic too? Now's not the time for jokes. Major General Fabuki might be in trouble. What happened? I haven't been able to reach him for the past few hours. His geolocation isn't available either. The OSF hasn't been able to help. We're working in the dark. It's probably best we go look for him then. No, we don't need to do that. How come? Because he's going to wander back like nothing happened. Going to look for him is just a waste of time. Saving your only brother is a waste of your time? I'm saying my time shouldn't be used on a pointless effort. Fine. Let me try putting it another way. Which do you think is better? Wasting a moment of your time on pointless work? Or losing him and regretting it for the rest of your life? Lose him? Right. You... <sighs> I see. You may have a point. Haruka, send me Fubuki's last known location. Okay, hold on. There, I sent it. It was a while ago, so we should expand the search... Arashi? Did she just leave? Can you track her location with GPS? 
I'm doing it, but I'm getting her geolocation data coming from everywhere. I can't get a lock on her current location. It must be her hypervelocity. We should wait and see where she ends up before we go after her. Arashi stopped. She's... It's Arashi. Rebel is blocking my path. I'll need your power to move this. I'll send you the coordinates. I'm heading out to the coordinates. Looks like it's around the abandoned subway. Oh, man. Arashi, I'm inside the abandoned subway, headed your way. Copy that. Hurry if you can. Excuse me. I'll continue investigating the area. Later then. Hey, Arashi! <sighs> she just does whatever she wants. Like you're one to talk, Kasane. <laughs> Tend to my weapons later. <laughs> You'll need to break its outer shell. Kasane, you just psychokinesis and hit it with something heavy. <laughs> it's working. Focus on that spot. Move if it gets on you, so be careful. 
I've almost reached the coordinates. Copy that. I'm getting reports about a gust of wind blowing through the city. What? Yes. It's not causing any damage, but apparently it's unsettling. I just thought you should know. That gust... I don't think it'll be coming back. I'm betting it was Arashi. She was probably running all over the place looking for traces of Major General Fubuki. Despite what she was saying, she must be really worried. If I can just find an opening... Arashi! Kasane, what took you so long? I came here as soon as I could. I'll save my questions for later. First, we have to do something about this. Yeah. Okay, now we can keep going. Is Major General Fubuki up ahead? Probably. It looks like there was a big fight here. The damage seems recent. They just won't let up. What gives? They're not going to stop me. It's up to you. Took somebody out. I thought I was by myself. Leave it to me. Fubuki! Arashi? 
What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. What happened? I was investigating the area when the extinction belt suddenly descended and jammed my transmissions. Then the others suddenly appeared and destroyed the path, trapping me here. I knew I didn't need to come all this way, honestly. No, you still saved me. Thank you, Kasane. I'm sorry to have bothered you, sis. Yeah, no kidding. Now I'm exhausted. Sorry. I guess this makes it the second time you saved me. Did something similar to this happen in the past? Yes, back when I was a kid and scouted by the OSF. Arashi threw a big tantrum using her power and told them they couldn't take me with them. What? But it's obligatory. It's no use trying to change their mind. So why? The OSF and death go hand in hand. Sometimes we need to accept the irrational. I might be able to handle that, but I knew full well that someone earnest like him wasn't equipped to deal with it. And those who aren't equipped to deal with it have a high chance of dying needlessly. So I thought I'd save everyone the trouble and stop him from being enlisted in the first place. <sighs> Although in the end, I wasn't able to change anything. Just a child's tantrum. That was the biggest waste of my entire life. My brother ended up enlisting in the OSF and somehow even managed to climb up to regiment commander. On the other hand, I got injured, got the top brass on my back, making me run PR. Just the worst. Injured? So you got hurt? Yeah, I did something really stupid. I used my hypervelocity and tore my limbs off when I hit a wall. What? Don't worry, they fixed them right up so there's barely even a scar. But like you said, my pointless action didn't yield me anything. Just like today. <sighs> Neither of them were pointless to me. Kabuki? You risked your life to protect me. You used your tiny body to shield me. Ever since I saw that, I wanted to become someone who could risk their life for another. And while you were healing, I found out how fun letters could be. Letters? What letters? Did you forget? You wrote me letters as part of your physical therapy treatments for your hands. That's why I started writing letters, too. It's like a hobby of mine now. Really? It helps me relax. There's something else it helps me with, too. It helps me remember the time you defended me. It really cheers me up. So it wasn't pointless. Huh. So about problem. today, twice. do you really think it was pointless? Put you to sleep. Yeah, I do. I see. Oh. I really hate wasted effort, but that doesn't mean it's all bad. Oh, man. It's fine doing something like this once in a while. It's a little embarrassing how it goes against everything I believe in, though. I've been in the OSF a long time, and a rookie as good as you is a rare thing. You mean a rookie who's easy to give your work to? I can't just give my work to anyone. I chose you because I know you can handle it. Also, because I trust you personally, even outside of work. So, I'll trust you to keep working as an extension of myself. Level four. Let's see what this may here. Cool. You're intriguing. I'm discovering more and more of your good qualities. I am? Well, I guess getting to know someone isn't a bad thing. Mm. Oh man, well I'm falling asleep now. Oh, Kasane, perfect timing. There's a popular fortune teller visiting Seiron right now who's said to be 200% accurate. 
What? 200%? How can you be twice as right about something? Either way, I'm not really interested. Oh, come on. Let's go get red together. You might gain some valuable information we can use in our upcoming fights. I doubt that, but fine. If you want to go that badly, I guess I'll tag along. Let's get going then. I'm sure there's a line already. This really is a long line. I'm surprised so many people believe in something so unscientific. There's a lot in the world that can't be explained by science. Now let's line up. This is going to take some time. I'm going to go buy something to drink. You stay here and hold our place. What's taking her so long? Did something happen? I should probably go look for her. Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Kyoka, who are you talking to? Oh, Kasane. I I'm sorry. Did something happen? Who was that? Someone from Togetsu. What? But Togetsu is on its last legs. Or at least that's what I thought. I was surprised too. It seems the agents scattered around New Himuka are still active. They told me to come back and work with them. But why? Babe isn't operating anymore, and it was the one running Togetsu. They told me they need Dr. Pope's neuroscience expertise in order to revive Babe. None of the other design children were able to adapt to Dr. Pope's vast memory data. With Babe gone, my brain is the only one that has her memories. Just so we're clear, you're not planning on going back to them, right? Of course not. I'd never do that. <sighs> There's still something worrying you. She told me that I need to fulfill my role as someone created by Togetsu. Who do they think they are? I know, but it's true that I was created to fulfill Togetsu's plans. My brain, my body, and everything else. Mm. When I was there, I thought the only value I had was in carrying out my orders. I'm here now because I stopped allowing them to define me on their terms. I don't regret it. But sometimes I'm left feeling uneasy. I feel like my own existence is indefinite. That I'm just worthless. You're not worthless at all. You've saved us countless times. We need the Kyoka who's here with us now, not Dr. Pope's memories. Thank you. You're right. I can't let them get to me. We should try to find out what the Togetsu remnants are up to so we can stop them. Do you have any leads? Not yet. But as long as they need me, they'll approach me again. When they do, I'll pretend to join them and see what they're up to. I might even be able to lure them out. It's a good plan, but risky. Let me help. I can't let you go alone. Okay. I really don't want to get you involved. But I need your help. Oh, we never got our fortunes told. Ugh, I was hoping to get some good news. Ugh. We've been together for a while, Kasane. Ever since you were a cadet. And your growth still surprises me. It does? I haven't noticed any changes in myself. You've become a great soldier. I hope I can keep watching you get better. Oh. Cool. You've opened up to me more. That makes me so happy. It might sound like I'm exaggerating a little, but it really is easy to talk to you. This is nice. I 
should talk to Gamma. Kasane, can we talk? I have a favor to ask. What is it? I know this is cruel of me to ask, but could you tell me where Naomi died? <sighs> I heard about what happened to her, and I wanted to visit the last place she stood before she died. Of course, you don't have to tell me if it's too painful for you. It's Mizu Hagawa. We can go together. Are you sure? Yes. I think you should see it too. Sorry, and thank you. Naomi died around here. This is where she fought the Togetsu soldiers. She and the rest of the people transformed into others. They saved us when we had nowhere to run, at the cost of their own lives. It must have been hard for you. Just looking at this place brings back painful memories. Naomi told me something back then, though. That she was happy to have been alive, and to perform one last act of humanity. Hmm. Naomi was in pain, but she found a reason to live. That's why I won't let this keep me down. I'll survive anything the world wants to throw at me. I see. Naomi lived her life to the fullest. Gemma, are you crying? Oh, looks like I am. <laughs> Sorry. You better not say you want to die, too. Don't worry, I won't. I already decided I wouldn't waste my life anymore. I'm sure Naomi wouldn't be happy if I did something like that. Good. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Why did you want to come here anyway? I wanted to confirm what I was feeling. To figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. I won't let anyone go through what Naomi did ever again. However, this nation's issues are too great. Suo and Seiron are no different. They use and discard the innocent for their own gain. You're right. I'm sure there are people like Naomi suffering somewhere in this country, even now. I was hesitating because of the size of the opposition. But learning about Naomi's last moments here has solidified the path I need to take. Now that the government's actions have been made public, the system is slowly changing. I want to help create a new system to make up for past mistakes. That's the least I can do for Naomi. I'm glad you have a goal. I'm sure she would be happy. It sounds like you'll still have plenty to do after retirement. Actually, I had another idea about my retirement. Although it might be a little conceited. If a retired OSF soldier can live a long life and do something to help society, then I want to become the model case of a psionic successfully aging. That's impressive. You must have drawn upon your vast experience to come up with an idea like that. No, I didn't come up with it on my own. It's something I thought after talking with you. Really? Remember when I had you taste my cooking the other day? That helped me gain a little confidence that I had more to offer than my ability to fight. Even if I lose my power, there are still so many new things for me to try. I was worried about what would happen after retirement, but now I'm almost looking forward to it. People really can change. He does look happier than when he first handed me Naomi's letter. Life goes on in this world, even without her. For both Gemma and me. I feel like I should start something new too. Really? Do you want to try cooking with me? It's pretty interesting. I'll think about it. You move so efficiently in battle. That's really impressive, considering how little combat experience you have. Although, while it's great that you don't hesitate, just don't be too reckless. Sometimes you need to pause and think. Yes, you're right. Thank you for the advice. I'll be sure to remember that. Ah, uh, no, I didn't mean to lecture you. Maybe this is because of my age. How can I get the Kolong SAS type? I get to know you, the more impressed I am. 
is something wrong? I mean, I think you're amazing too. Hey, Kasane, got a minute? Yes, what do you need? It can wait if you're busy, but I was hoping you'd run some military exercises with me. We can go now. Let's head to the training facility. Damn it! I thought I could win this time. Can't believe you turned the tables on me at the last second. I may have managed to push through at the end, but it was really close. Thanks. That made for a good training session. I noticed you move differently now. It's like you don't hesitate anymore. <laughs> don't analyze me. You shouldn't get carried away just because you beat me. It was a compliment. I know, but I guess it's fine. I'll learn from this experience and win next time. Just you wait. I appreciate your passion, but remember not to push yourself too hard. You'll make your family worry. I don't even have to be pushing myself for them to worry. They never listen to anything I say. You have good parents. You had better be replying to all of their messages. I am, but they still won't stop bugging me. I decided I'm gonna drop by and see them once in a while. That's a good idea. I'm sure they'll be happy about that. They're constantly asking when I'll be coming over next. I mean, don't they get how busy I am? You always talk about them like that, but I know they're important to you. You just can't admit it. That's normal. You're just too blunt. Although that could be why you're so strong. You fight for what's important to you without being bothered by what anyone else thinks. That's a strength that can't be measured and utterly incomprehensible to me. But I did learn something while watching you. What would that be? Real strength isn't something you compare against other people. Everyone, including me, has their own unique strengths. Anyway, don't get cocky just because you're a little talented. I'm eventually going to surpass you and run the OSF one day. And here I thought you'd actually grown as a person. You haven't changed much at all. What? Although, it would be off-putting if you suddenly changed overnight. So I guess this is better. Nothing but insults, as usual. Are you really trying to become friends with me? About that. I know what Kyoka said, but I don't think we need to force a friendship between us. What? We may have different ways of thinking, but we can trust each other on the battlefield. Don't you think that's good enough? Yeah, we're fighting in the same platoon. I suppose I can at least be cooperative. I'm glad we've come to an agreement. Do you have a minute? Will you come to a cafe in Suo with me? Sure. Is everything okay? Uh... There's something I want to talk to you about. Has she made a decision about Yuito? Alright, let's go. So what did you want to talk about? Straight to the point as always. Okay, then. I wanted to talk to you about the OSF. The OSF? Not Yuito? Hey, it's not like I think about him all day. I mean, maybe I did up until recently, but there's no talking about Yuito today. I want to be more independent and not rely on him so much. I see. So what about the OSF? We've seen the OSF's dark side through the battles we've been in. We know that they're not an ally of justice. We found out that it's an organization that runs cruel experiments that cost a lot of people their lives. True. Now I'm struggling with the decision of whether or not to stay in the OSF. 
I know that I have to be the one to make the final choice, but I just wanted to ask your opinion. If you're questioning your current situation, you either have to leave or change. Right. So it comes down to those two options. I guess I don't really want to leave. I have friends and other people who are very important to me in the OSF. And I don't want to run away. I feel like I need to face the OSF head-on precisely because we know there's something wrong. Then that leaves you with only one answer. You're right. I probably already knew it, but was too afraid to say it out loud. I want to change the OSF because it's filled with the people I love. I don't want to give up on it. An OSF that doesn't sacrifice lives, but saves them. Yeah, that's going to be my goal. That's a good goal. Straightforward, just like you. <laughs> I know it's ambitious, but it's the least I can do if I want to be on the level of you and Yuito. You can do it. I told you before that you have the power to break through the front line. Even outside of battle, you can break through barriers as long as you put your mind to it. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a compliment, but thank you. I'll do my best. Hey, Kasane, I'm glad we became friends. Is something wrong? I was so preoccupied with Yuito before, but talking to you made me realize I had to change. I think you've helped me broaden my perspective as well. I think about things I never would have before. It might just be my imagination, but are you planning to leave the OSF? What makes you think that? Well, you didn't seem to hesitate when you suggested my leaving the OSF. So I thought maybe... I haven't made any decisions yet, but you're right. I am considering that as a possibility. Oh. It'd be sad to say goodbye, but I'll always support you, no matter what path you may decide for yourself. Thank you. I appreciate that. Although, I'd like to see you confess your feelings to Yuito before I leave. What? I told you, no talking about Yuito. Did you say that? Honestly. Anyway, I'm not ready yet. But I think I'll be able to take the first step soon. So wish me luck. I hope your wishes come true. And not just romantically. I'll pray for you too. Let's both do our best. What does this handshake mean? I'm not sure, but it just felt right. Maybe it's a sign of our friendship. Even if we're apart, we'll still always be friends. Okay, friends it is. Well, are you ready to go? <laughs> we still have so much to do. Yes, let's get going. myself from charging forward in battle. I know how much you're covering for me and my reckless tendencies. It's fine. Sometimes it makes it easier to fight when you're out in front like that. Well, I guess that's nice to know. I'll just have to be careful that I don't overdo it from now on.
Thanks. Man, how can I get bombed? How, how can I reach bomb? I'll stream that up, man. Let me save my game. Use these brain points, I'll do it next time. Um, so that is.
everybody having this. <laughs> oh, man.